what do you really expect? I expect steady. Now, I spoke with Microsoft's AI CEO, Mustafa Suleiman, a couple weeks ago about those data center pullbacks. Okay. His explanation to me was basically that companies like Microsoft will option data centers all the time, and sometimes they don't pick up those options, and that becomes headlines of people saying they're pulling back. So there's a chance what's happening is the companies anticipated a lot of demand because of AI. They optioned everything. And now they're saying we're not going to pick up some of the options and people are like, they don't want data centers anymore. You feel like that was spin that you got or was it the real deal? Maybe somewhere in between. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it is. I mean, I just, I, it is. the AI models right now are performing better than they ever have. They're actually living up to the promise. Copilot, speak about, speaking about Microsoft, Copilot right now is becoming a real tool, not just this annoying thing that shows up in Outlook. I mean, companies everywhere are using it. They're actually getting real usage as opposed to just like another notification in your system that people count as a user. So I think that we're going to continue to see a uh, continue to see a ramp in usage. Now, remember, take it. We go back to last year when there was all this hype, and in that moment, you know, the idea was that everybody would use AI all the time. Right by now, that was always unrealistic. We've talked about it on the show that that was unrealistic. However. This is ramping, it's moving, and maybe it's not this coming year, but in a couple of years, I expect that everybody's going to be using this stuff in the workplace.